Good day, learners! Welcome to our day one, reading and interpreting bar graphs. Let's interpret the bar graph. Favorite fruits of grade 3 pupils. Which fruit do most learners like? Which fruit is liked by the fewest learners? How many learners like mangoes? How many more learners like bananas than apples? Today, we will learn how to read and interpret a bar graph. What is a bar graph? A bar graph is a chart that uses bars to show data or information. Each bar represents a category. And the height or length of the bar shows how many or how much. Parts of a bar graph. Title tells what the graph is about. Labels show what each bar represents. Scale shows the number value for each line or unit. Bars, this show the data. The Garden Project The pupils of Great Tree Plum planted flowers in their school garden. Eight pupils planted roses, five planted sunflowers, three planted orchids, and four planted gumamelas. Their teacher, Miss Cruz, made a bar graph to show the data. Planted flowers by grade 3 pupils. Which flower was planted the most? How many pupils planted gumamelas? Which flower was planted the least? Always remember, a bar graph shows data using bars. The scale tells us what each bar's height or length means. Always check the title, labels, and scale when reading a graph. Let's try this. Read and interpret the bar graph and answer the following questions. Favorite pets of grade 3 pupils. Welcome to our day 2. Constructing bar graphs using different scales. Our favorite snacks. What is your favorite snack? How can we show this information in a more organized and clear way? We can use a bar graph. Today, we will learn how to construct our own bar graph using different scales. What is a bar graph? 
a bar graph is a chart that uses bars to show data. Each bar represents a category. The height or length of the bar shows how much or how many. Rules in constructing a bar graph. First, write a title that tells what the graph is about. Second, label the x-axis horizontal and the y-axis vertical. Third, choose a scale that fits the data. Fourth, draw bars neatly and make them the same width. Fifth, color or shade bars to make them clear and easy to compare. When constructing a bar graph, remember to include a title, labels, bars, and scale. Following the rules in constructing a bar graph makes it easier to read and understand. Let's try this. Make your own bar graph. From the given data, make your own bar graph. Welcome to our day three, reading and interpreting a bar graph. Who likes to play tagu-taguan? How about tumbang preso? Piko o loksong tinik? From this data, eight of the pupils likes tagu-taguan. Six of the pupils likes tumbang preso. Ten of the pupils likes piko. And four of the pupils likes luksong tinik. Reading the bar graph. Favorite Pinoy games of grade three pupils. Which bar is the tallest? Which bar is the shortest? How many learners like Pico? How many more learners like Tumbang Preso than Tagu Taguan? Which two games have the most and least votes? The Cleanest Classroom Contest In San Isidro Elementary School, the principal held a cleanest classroom contest. The judges recorded how many times each class won the award. Grade 3 Mabini won four times. Grade 3 Rizal won six times. Grade 3 Bonifacio won two times. Grade 3 Jacinto won eight times. In this graph, cleanest classroom contest in grade 3 class. Which class won the most? Which class won the list? How many times did grade 3 Rizal win?
How many times did grade 3 Jacinto win? Always remember, a bar graph shows and compares data easily. Always check the title, labels, bars, and scale when reading a graph. The taller the bar, the greater the number it represents. Let's try this. Read and interpret the bar graph and answer the following questions. Favorite school subjects of grade 3 learners. Welcome to our day 4. Solving problems using data in a bar graph. The toy sale. The pupils of grade 3 held a toy sale to raise funds for their classroom library. The bar graph below shows how many toys each pupil sold. Lisa sold 10. Marco sold 6. Rina sold 8. And Joel sold four. Lisa worked very hard and sold the most toys. Marco and Rina helped each other by arranging the toys neatly. After the sale, the pupils counted the total toys sold and used the money to buy books for their class. Who sold the most toys? Who sold the least toys? How many more toys did Lisa sell than Marco? How many toys did Rina and Joel sell all together? What did the pupils do with the money they earned? A bar graph helps us solve problems by showing information in an easy-to-read way. To solve problems using a bar graph, we must read the title, labels, and scale carefully. Let's try this. Read and interpret the bar graph and answer the following questions. Number of trees planted by grade 3 pupils. Thank you for watching. Till our next mathematics lesson. Goodbye.